Hi everyone, Yaku from Tudor Touch here and in this video I'll be introducing the brand new EG Series interactive 4K panel. I'll be going over some of the features, new functions as well as one of two quality of life changes that we've implemented with the new Android 9.0 operating system. Please keep in mind that if you have an older version of our panel, specifically the EE series, you will still be able to access all of these new features by doing the Android Edu 2.0 firmware upgrade. I have already created a video on how to do the upgrade. I will leave a link for that down in the description. All right, so to start off with our brand new EG series panel, I'm going to showcase that we have a much more modern design with an even narrower bezel of about 10 millimeters, which will allow this panel to fit into any room seamlessly. The bottom of the panel has always also been concaved, so it makes for accessing your styluses and finding where to the magnetic strips are, make, that makes accessing them quite easy. Then with the stylus in my hand, I just want to showcase one of those quality of life changes. So I have the thick or a thin tip and a thick tip, making it much easier to write in two different colors. All right, so then before I start and run through everything on the EG series panel, I'll quickly just go over the applications, the sidebars, and then as well touch onto two new features in the node program. All right. So to start with, the background does look slightly different because we've used a new color scheme, specifically low saturated color schemes. You have an option of a few different backgrounds available for you. Um, all of these color schemes has no bright colors, which means you can concentrate or use the panel for longer periods of time without damaging or hurting your eyes. Um, then next you also have a customizable UI so you can change anything on the background like on your smartphone change or move the icons around to suit your needs. Then one of the other new features are, is the new menu, the quick menu bar. You can access that from the right hand side, the bottom or the left hand side. Now just to mention I have turned mine off in the middle because I like the way of swiping up to get to my input menus. However, if you want to access this bar from the middle, you can. While I have this open, I just want to showcase that we do now have a Type-C connector. This will allow you to share content from your laptop to the panel while the panel is then charging your laptop. So no need to bring any additional cables, just one cable, your laptop and the panel and you'll be good to go. All right, so then going to the quick menu bar, the top section is just some buttons to navigate through the panel. So this will be back, this is home, so this will bring you to the interface. And then this is backstage, so this will open up all the applications or um, software that is open at the moment, and then you can close them accordingly. Then the middle section here is your applications and features. So to start off with, we have the node program. As you can see, it's on the desktop as well there your finder and your browser. Now the nine little dots over here is where you will find your additional applications or any third party applications. As you can see I have installed Zoom already on here, however Teams or Skype or any third party streaming software will also work. Just to showcase quickly how to customize the UI, it's as simple as clicking on the icon, dragging and dropping like on any iOS or Android device. And then to remove the icon, it's as simple as holding onto it and pressing the remove button. Then the last section over here are your tools. So specifically some um, annotation tools. So you can make annotations anywhere on the panel, save this as an image, share it as an image or upload it to the cloud for later use. Then you have your ScreenShare Pro. Now, ScreenShare Pro comes standard with the new Android 9.0 operating system. It's much easier to use, so it's just as simple as downloading the application either to your laptop, mobile device, or Android or iOS tablet, inputting the code, and start sharing your screen. This will also allow to share the screen or split the screen up to four times. Then next in line is Air Class. Now, please keep in mind that all of the applications I touch on to briefly, I will have more in-depth videos on our YouTube channel. I will leave a link down in the description for you. Just to showcase the new Air Class interface, you now have the option to either join your students via the code or with the QR scanner provided. And then lastly, in this section over here, you have your timers. 
I just want to showcase that you can alter or manipulate these the order of these accordingly so the three dots here will give you additional tools so let's say you don't want the timers and you want the swipe up menu feature to uh, or do you want the menu feature to get to your inputs it's as simple as pressing the minus pressing the plus and then there you go you've changed that accordingly okay so that was just a quick run through of the new menu bars and the new interface now i'm going to showcase one of those quality of life changes so now this has always been available in the windows operating system however the floating windows mode is brand new to the android operating system so you now have the option to split the screen up to four times now i have tested this and i found that the screen splits up to four might be a little bit small and difficult to use as your surface area becomes slightly or slightly smaller so i would recommend using it only to split your screen up into two however you do have the option to go further all right so now moving over to the node program i want to quickly showcase so showcase those two new features i mentioned firstly just with the stylus in my hand to write into in two different colors is quite simple just select the plane and then the one tip would be one color and the other tip would be another color so there you go and as simple as that you have now written in two different colors with ease then you can select this and turn it into word for you and as you can see there it goes wrote the word hello for me and you can also now quickly search that word onto the internet or on the internet which will give you an explanation and some images if it is relevant all right so then one of the new features i want to quickly showcase is the sticky notes so sticky notes are great if you want to have information on the panel at all times so let's say homework assignments for your class you can populate this with homework and then simply press ok that will be populated on the top right hand side of the screen where it will stay until you delete it you can edit it on a daily basis if you have daily homework assignments maybe weekly homework assignments you can edit that accordingly and you can also color code them per class or per grade so then you have different uh, different homework assignments showcasing no one so no one will miss any of the homework assignments and then to delete them it's as simple as selecting and deleting and then the last new feature i want to showcase is the icon one so what we've done is we've implemented 1.7 million icons onto the panel or onto the note program which you can use by simply drawing a couple of lines the panel will try and recognize what you drew and then turn it into into an icon for you for example, if you do draw, draw a couple of lines, it will probably come up with a sandwich because that's the closest to what it thinks you draw. Um, however, as you can see, there's a couple of different options. So let's say that was actually a UFO I was trying to draw. However, if you want to be more specific and you know more or less how the uh, outline of the shape or whatever you're trying to draw looks. So let's say, for instance, the Eiffel Tower, we all know it looks more or less like that so if you draw the lines like that as you can see the first two options are options of Eiffel Towers which you can then implement select move around and use in your lesson planning with ease it's just a little way of making your lessons a little bit more interactive and then afterwards you can obviously share that as an image to your students or simply save it and continue on with your lesson all right that was just a brief introduction to the new eg series interactive panels thank you so much for watching please follow like and share my name is yaku from to the touch